Hey everybody, it's Robbie from Detroit Driver, and today I'm going to tell you three easy ways to tell the difference between a Ferrari 458 and a Ferrari 458 Speciale. So, let's do it. All right, so the easiest way for me to show you this is on a Google Maps kind of 3D image capturing. We're here outside of Ferrari or Continental Ferrari in Hinsdale, Illinois. And you can see right here are two beautiful examples of Ferrari Ferrari uh, models. The one in front of us is the 458 um, Spider in this case, because it's, it's a convertible. And over here, we have the Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. Again, another convertible. But the differences are kind of the same, whether we have the coupe versions or um, the convertible version. So uh, let's do it. So the first uh, difference, first big difference you'll be able to see is on the front of the cars. <laughs> Um, mainly this front fascia here. So if you look on the uh, spider model, you can see the red trim kind of lines um, the bottom along here. And then you do have some um, black design contours in there, um, but it's a lot different than the actual um, bottom lip on the Speciale. Um, so you can see here that it kind of goes up and around the um, Ferrari logo, um, but on the 458, uh, the base 458, it doesn't. To see the speciality a little clearer, um, we're actually gonna jump to Ferrari Beverly Hills. They have another 458 speciality in their showroom. And here um, you can kind of clearly see that this front fascia lip um, goes above and around um, the Ferrari logo versus on the, um, on the base, it doesn't. All right, so the second uh, main difference that you'll be able to tell, oh, I guess one other thing um, is you'll be able to see it better here, but this, um, the Speciale does have um, vents sort of on the roof, or sorry, on the hood, uh, where you can clearly see on the base, it doesn't. It's just a flat piece of metal here. Um, so yeah, second big difference is the side profiles. So you can see here, um, we basically just have a normal like flush kind of side profile. Um, but if we can go around and go in here, and see the side profile of the 458, um, you'll be able to see that it has um, this wing on the side and this sort of extra carbon um, along here. That again is true on both the uh, Aperta model and the um, base model. Um, so that's another easy way that you can kind of tell the difference. Uh, this post is blocking here, but um, between the two. And then the last um, major difference is on the back. Um, so on the uh, 458 Speciale, you can see here that we kind of have this black grate um, that's wider and then it narrows as we go through the middle and then widens again by the other tail light. Where on the normal 458, um, you just have the two grates, but then you have sort of the, the body panel coming up and connecting there, um, which we don't have um, over here. Uh, the, another difference um, is you can see our exhaust pipes are on either side of this big kind of um, carbon contour. I don't even know what to call that. Uh, where on the uh, normal 458, we have the three, tail, uh, three exhaust pipes in the back and don't have quite elaborate of a, of a downforce kit maybe on the back of the car. So yeah, I think those are the big uh, differences. So we have the front lip on the side profile and the rear end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this and I'll have another video coming out very soon um, detailing some more differences between two cars. But if you have some questions on um, two different cars that you'd like me to see or you have another difference that I missed on this car, um, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll also put a link to the kind of map 3D space that I um, used if you wanna check that out. Uh, there's a lot of cool cars if you want to like walk throughout the whole um, Continental Autosport Ferrari um, dealership. But um, yeah, thank you again, and I'll see you next video.